What's up everyone, it's Jerome, aka Master Shake. Before we get started, I would like to remind everyone to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. That like button really helps with the YouTube algorithm and lets my videos be recommended to other people who may or may not be uh, familiar with this channel and really helps my channel grow. Now, this episode is about why I choose to put all of my apps in my trust and why I think you as a solo app developer should do the same. Perfect. So we're talking about trust and for those of you who do not know what a trust is I do have some videos that speak about trust but I will just give a brief description uh, trust is a private business entity that uh, that is created by what is called a settler or a grantor and it is basically managed by who are people who are called trustees so the grantor, which would be you, or you can have you know someone else create you a trust, uh, they are the ones who basically create the trust and set the terms of the trust. So basically, who the trustees can be, who the beneficiaries can be, and I'm not going to get into all that lingo right now, but I will put some links in the description below for you to do your own research. So. The trustee is the person who manages the trust. So these are the people, person or people or entities who will be uh, managing the uh, funds of the trust and the investments of the trust, making sure that the trust is fulfilling the needs that is outlined in the trust document. And then, of course, the beneficiaries are the people who benefit from the trust, usually when the grantor dies. So let me give you an example. I have a trust, the Parker Estate Trust. I am the grantor because I am the one who made the trust. I am also the uh, only trustee at the moment. However, when I die, I have trustees who will be appointed to manage the trust upon my death. And then I have the beneficiaries who are my children, some family members, and some really close friends. So basically, how I have my structure is I have my trust and all of my all of my investments really not just my apps but we're sp speaking about apps right now all of my apps are owned by the trust so I have bank accounts um, all my DNS records and who is data all that is owned all my digital and real assets are owned by the trust so I have apps that make money it goes into the trust account now let's say I get knocked over by a bus and I expire. The, the way that the trust is set up, all the income from my apps will go to my beneficiaries. Um, and which, like I said, my children, a couple of some family members and some uh, friends. So my children get X percent, my friends get X percent, and then my other family members get X percent. So let's say the app is making a thousand dollars a month. Um, they'll be able to go up to a, to the bank and pull out their percentage every month, um, or have the have the trustee can mail out checks to the beneficiaries every month. And basically, this allows my assets and my legacy and my empire that I've been building up and to the point which I died to take care of the people that I care about the most without having to go through court. So <clears throat> when you pass away and let's say you and you don't have a trust, you just have a will. Or let's say you don't have a will, which is sadly the case for a lot of Americans. You go through a process which is called probate, which is basically where the court comes and divvies up all your assets and says you know your aunt gets this your brother gets this your ex-wife gets this and then the state takes their cut 
it's a very expensive process and um, a lot of wealth is lost familial wealth is lost during the probate process um, this is especially true for black Americans um, because we are the least likely to do estate planning amongst American demographics so if you have a trust you skip probate because the trust is who owns the assets so let's take um, you know my example of my apps when I pass away um, you know my children and and everybody won't have to go to court to you know figure out what what's what you know I have I have rental properties that you know I'm gonna um, allow the beneficiaries to use which like I said are my friends and, and my children I have my apps I have my the bank accounts that have gonna have cash in it and when I die I have certain stuff set up so that you know certain the certain beneficiaries can get certain things like my children will be able to live in any one of the houses or whatever or my children will be appointed um, uh, on the chair if the apps become a C corporation for example if there's a C corporation that you know is making a lot of money and my children are of age and they're capable of running the company there they have the first right to be on the chair or the board so basically my seat will be split into two and will go to my children by setting all this up in the trust document the and you know it's notarized etc cetera, etc cetera, the court will just recognize it you don't have to go to probate you don't have to sell the assets and then divvy up the cash and all that because the trust is the entity that owns it so that's a basic overview and that is why I personally put my apps in a trust it's just an easy way it's an easy way for me to not really have to think about it trust are a private business entity so you don't have to go through the Secretary of State like how you have to do with the LLC all you have to do is get your document typed up sign it and in most states you need it notarized but in some states you don't like in Kentucky you don't need it notarized you just need it signed by the grand tour uh, I went ahead and got it notarized because a lot of institutions like if you need to go get a bank account um, etc cetera, etc cetera, they require a notarized trust document but it is a business entity and um, you can make it revocable or irrevocable if you do make it revocable once you pass away they automatically become irrevocable um, in which case you know they have to get their own tax ID etc etc but those are things that you can talk to with your accountant estate planner and lawyer However, I do have an app that I want to share with you that I have wrote myself. It is over a year old and it is called TrustGenerator.com. And basically, I took the format of my trust that my lawyers had, you know, drafted up and went over or whatever. I put it in template form, made a web app. You basically fill out the form, it generates the trust documents, it emails them to you, and then at that point, all you have to do is sign it and notarize it. And of course, like with any legal document, you know, I would have a legal professional go ahead and just look over it, make sure everything is up to your specifications, but it does give you a base template that if ever, that in most cases, 90% of cases is ready to go, all you have to do is sign and notarize. And once again, that website is trustgenerator.com. And the awesome thing is it is only cost $5 to generate a trust document, which compared to the standard legal fees for generating a trust with a traditional lawyer, which can be hundreds if not thousands of dollars, I think it's a pretty good deal. So if you want to support this channel and you want to set yourself up with some basic estate planning and also if you want to have a basic business vehicle that doesn't have to go through the state I would suggest creating a trust and that will bring out to my last point is that if you have a small company or a small app and that you don't expect to make you know millions of dollars or maybe even uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars and you just want it to be a family business you should put a trust you don't have to really go through the process of creating an LLC and the cool thing is that L that trust can own businesses so all of my other LLC's the ones that are single member LLC's they're the single member of that LLC is my trust 
So a trust, which is a private business entity, can own public business entities. But that's another video for another day. Once again, everyone, please smash that like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel, tap that bell, etc., etc. You know what you know what to do, everyone. This has been Jerome Parker, aka Master Shake. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all at Master Shake08, and I will see you all later.